to get this started off fast this is a fuel filter change for a 3.4 liter Toyota Tacoma six cylinder if you have a four cylinder motor it's slightly different your fuel filter will be underneath the intake manifold inside the vehicle engine bay for a six cylinder I'll show you it's underneath the driver's side of the vehicle You'll notice in this video, I do not relieve the fuel pressure in the lines. If you do, there'll be less fuel that would drip out of your lines. It's not an important task necessarily. It's not a huge deal to worry about if you don't want to do it. Now with that said, let's get it started. The tools you'll need are a catch pan to catch stray fuel that leaks out of the fuel line. You'll need a 10 millimeter socket and socket wrench or a 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench. You'll need a adjustable wrench or 19 millimeter wrench or a flare nut wrench, your choice. You'll need some kind of liquid penetrating fluid, uh, PB blaster, liquid wrench, whatever. You wanna spray that on before you even attempt to do this job. Typically the bolts are a little rusty, a little seized. So do this a couple minutes before you plan to remove the bolts and make it easier. You'll need a 14 millimeter flare nut wrench. Very important that it's flare nut. It has an open shape at the end this way you don't strip your fuel line you'll need your replacement fuel filter I got this from CarQuest their brand I like their brand materials so I'm not too worried about it if you get one OEM from Toyota it will come with a bracket this one does not come with a bracket so make sure that you keep the bracket on your car if you're using one that's aftermarket and if we really get into trouble we'll use some channel locks to remove the fuel line Make sure you grip them at the corners of the nuts. That way it's less of a chance that you strip the nut itself. This is a last resort option. Step one that you wanna do is to loosen the negative terminal on your battery. This eliminates an ignition source. This is a, just a safety precaution. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video for a 3.4 liter Tacoma, or any kind of 3.4 liter engine, the fuel filter will be located right underneath the driver's side of the car. If you go under, you'll see the driver's seat. Right underneath the driver's seat, you'll locate the fuel filter. You can see I've sprayed the fuel filter lines with liquid wrench. This is so that it's easier to remove. I sprayed this side, and I also sprayed the other side. You'll notice also I do have a catch pan ready to catch any spare fuel that drips out. That way you don't have any contaminants going into the drain lines or your, or your yard or the water source. Adjustable wrench. Now this is either a 19 millimeter or you can use an adjustable. I'll just put that on the bigger nut. And this is only to keep the fuel filter from flexing 14 millimeter flare nut. Go ahead and put it on. Apply a little pressure, and there we go. As you see, this line is now loose. I'll go to the other side now. As you see, here's the bracket bolt. I'll just take a 10 millimeter socket, squeeze it on back there. and you remove that bolt. fuel filter is removed. Install of new filter is the reverse of removal. Typically on the aftermarket fuel filter they'll have a flow designation. So this will tell you that this should be installed with this back part to the gas tank, this front part to the engine because the gas is flowing from the gas tank through the filter to the engine. Now this does come with a torque spec but specialty tool to get it to the precise torque spec. I'll just hand tighten it. I'll get it snug. 
I just hand fill it. You don't want it too tight. And you know, that's, that's about good. One of the last steps is to go ahead and reclose the bracket. I'll put back in the 10 millimeter bolt. As you see, there's a little uh, indentation here or in the bracket, just make sure that aligns with the fuel filter clip right here. If it's not aligned, no issues. Just rotate your fuel filter just a little bit to get it to align. New fuel filter is installed. Bracket is put back in place. Both sides are in place. Now all we have to do is check for leaks. We'll start the car. I'll reinstall the battery negative terminal, start the car, and I'll check for leaks. Fuel filter change is complete. I've checked for any leaks, we're all good there. Quick note, it may be difficult to turn on your car after you do this maintenance repair. All you need to do is turn your key from on to off, on to off a few times to prime the fuel pump and get the flow back to your engine. After that, your car should start fine. If you have any tips, comments about how to make this easier, please comment down below. Don't have a big ego. I like the community to know what's the best way to do a job correctly. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. Like, comment, let me know how I'm doing. As always, I like to share because I've gotten important information from YouTube. I'm just trying to pass it forward. Thanks. I'm out.